drumming up support. Skinheads and masked youths, children and families, even members of the Orthodox Church. They believe they're fighting for the rights of Russians, rights that don't include those from other religions or anyone of non-Slavic appearance. We're tired of these dirty Caucasians. In a country that lost 20 million people in the fight against fascism, chilling symbols are displayed with pride. In previous years, the march was monitored closely by the Russian authorities. It was very much a chance for right-wing groups to vent their anger at migrant workers, people that have flooded to Russia from all over the former Soviet Union, people that they say are stealing their jobs. But this year, the slogans are changing. The Kremlin are now finding themselves at the heart of right-wing rage. And one group's even gaining mainstream support. Its slogan is, don't feed the Caucasus. The Kremlin's allocated billions of dollars in helping the war-torn region. But pictures like this, Chechnya's leader Ramzan Kadyrov during lavish birthday celebrations have inflamed tensions. They've been receiving aid for a decade. It's only benefited Kadyrov, who's rebuilt Grozny and bought a Bentley. All we're doing is feeding the Chechen elite who guarantee 100% of votes for Putin's party. Several political parties are now trying to win over nationalist support. The Communists, the nation's second largest party, even wants to reintroduce a page in the passport which identifies a person's ethnicity. Faced with mounting right-wing opposition, these are people the Kremlin's finding it harder to ignore and control. Neve Barker, Al Jazeera, Moscow.